Hi folks. So uh, just to continue what I wanted to say this morning because I didn't have a lot of time to, uh, you know, to tell you what I had on my mind, basically. Uh, so regarding my videos, you know, where I portray a level 10 use of force, which might seem very excessive to a lot of people, uh, what they don't understand is that this is the type of violence that's being used to deal against a life threat, okay? So if someone offers you deadly force, it means, you know, like multiple armed assailant, which is the worst, worst case scenario, but you know, just one armed assailant, or even an assailant that's really trying to kill you, okay? Home invasion in the middle of the night, you know, all that type of stuff, okay? Well, the law, is not present for you the law is not helping you at that moment because it will take you the time to call the police to let them know where you are what the situation is you might not have the time to do all these things okay the level of force the level of threat is over the top the level of force that's being used against you is deadly force the only way that you can deal with this type of threat is to meet it on the same level okay it doesn't mean that obviously if um, if the threat is less okay if there is a lesser threat somebody just giving you a hard stare you're not gonna bite his ear off you're not gonna take him in hostage with a pen okay if uh, someone gives you a hard stare well you just ignore them you'll be aware make sure that they don't follow you and that the situation doesn't escalate in any way but it ends here. If somebody insults you, just ignore it. Same thing, be aware, make sure they don't follow you, okay? There's no need there for excessive use of force, okay? Now, if somebody pulls you a knife, well, already I would say that the level of force is completely different, so you're gonna have to meet it equally with a similar level of force, okay? Okay, you, you will not be thinking about the law or about anything at that moment. You will be too afraid. It will be time to do something about it, okay? Now, people looking at my video, giving me nasty comments, things like, uh, like I'm mentally deranged. We can see, Julian, that you're mentally deranged. It is portrayed in all your videos. You have uh, serious anger issues. <laughs> Why do you bite your dummy like that? Why do you go Mike Tyson on your dummy? Why do you take your dummy hostage with a pen, shouting obscenities? There is a context for everything, guys. There is always a context, okay, in which things are done, okay? Now, I'm a very spiritual person, or I would like to regard myself as a very spiritual person, okay? If you guys look into hermetic philosophy, if that's your thing, it is mine. I really love uh, philosophy, I really love meditation. Anything that touches to personal development is uh, things that I found very, very interesting. Now, in uh, hermetic philosophy, they always say that one extreme couldn't exist without another extreme. Left couldn't exist if there wasn't a right, okay? Down couldn't exist if there is no up, okay? Anger wouldn't exist if there was no love, okay? Uh, I'll go on and on. There would be no hot if there was no cold. There would be no man if it wasn't for women. There would be no night if there was no day. Okay, so being extreme is the very nature of the universe, folks. Okay, the universe is very extreme. You can see that in everything. Okay, when it's there, there is a sun, it shines out, it's very, very bright. It is extremely bright compared to night. Okay, so if you follow this set of principles, if you follow 
this type of philosophy, which is ultimately explaining the way that the universe functions, okay? So, what I'm trying to say here, folks, is that you could be the most peacefulest person on earth, the most peaceful person on earth, like myself. I like to regard myself as a peaceful person, you know? I would never create a problem. I would always find my way out of a problem. If I can, if I have any opportunity to de-escalate the situation, I will. I will get out of my way to help people. This is the type of person that I am, okay? But now, if I am faced with this type of situation where I have no choice, I am left with zero choice, what am I supposed to do then? Well, I have to deal with the situation in the best way possible in order to stay alive and in order to protect my loved ones, okay? So I can be like the universe and applying the same principles, being the most loving person in the world, but also potentially being the most dangerous person on earth, okay? It doesn't mean that I have, uh, doesn't mean that I'm portraying my ego, because people look at my videos and straight away, they think that I have an ego. But what they can feel in their gut is their own ego. They think, oh, this guy is crazy. I would do this to him. I would do that to him. And guys, I would do everything not to get in that type of situation in the first place. I'm very good at talking. I got excellent communication skills. I got excellent active listening skills. Okay. I know how to de-escalate a situation. And I am all for that. I like it when I can deal with a situation peacefully, a potentially harmful, dangerous, uh, aggressive type of situation. If I can deal with it peacefully, in my mind, job done, I did a good job, and I feel proud of myself. This is how everyone should be, okay? This is how everyone should deal with any problem. If you have to use force and you can deal with the problem by simply shoving the person and telling them to stay away using a physical fence reinforced by a verbal fence, by all means, if that's enough to deal with the situation, I have no need to do anything more than that because it would be morally incorrect and it wouldn't be necessary, okay? Now, you guys look at my videos and you think this is the only response that I train myself to have. No, I train level 10 response in answer to level 10 threat, okay? But I also train level one, use a force, level two, level three, level four, all my way up to level 10. And I can prove it. You just have to look at my other videos and you will see that I tell the truth. Okay? Now, in terms of uh, people saying that I got anger issues, well, you have the right to believe what you want, folks. After all, it's a free world, yeah? And everybody can believe what they want to believe. But the truth is that the way I see it, yeah, anger is an emotion, something felt in the body. And when you feel it, you got a few different choices, okay? A few different choices are whether you react to it, okay? In which way, most of the time, you're gonna do the wrong thing, okay? Or you make a conscious decision, okay? Anger is an unconscious decision, yeah? Now, you want, you want to get in the habit to always make conscious decisions. What is the difference between unconscious decision and conscious decisions? Unconscious decisions are, it's the decision making you, it's not you making the decision, okay? When you make the decision, you make the decision consciously, and most of the time, the outcome of the situation will be favorable, 
okay which means that you're most likely more likely to deal with the situation in a calmly and peaceful manner and this is what you want okay now if you don't train for the worst case scenario if you don't train for a level 10 user force and you do meet this level of force i'm not saying that it's going to happen to you it doesn't happen to everybody i hope that it never happens to you i hope that it never happens to me but these type of things still happens now if you do not train that response how do you think that this response is gonna magically come out with the adrenal stress with the tunnel vision hyperventilation decrease of decision making ability increased heart rate the, the cognitive shift and all that you really think that you're gonna be able to access that state when you need it if you do not train it no I disagree now the law I'm a lawful citizen I always tell to people respect the law and really you know do unto other what you expect anyone to do unto you behave the way you expect other to behave treat other the way you expect them to treat you okay it's universal really if you're a good guy you should abide by these these little code of conduct yeah but now the law is not always designed to protect you okay there are many different ways in which the law will not protect you and you will find yourself completely alone against criminals that have a firm intention to cause deadly harm to you and if you are not trained if you not if you do not do these scenarios in your head you will not be ready physically mentally emotionally to deal with this sort of situation that's why it's very important it's very very important folks it should it should be it should be logical but most of you are afraid of the law most of you are more afraid of getting arrested and prosecuted than than being afraid of losing your life or losing your loved ones it's time to get real folks and ask yourself a few questions what are you ready to live for what are you ready to fight for what are you ready to die for and what are you ready to kill for so I will say something in my opinion killing is wrong it will always be wrong okay it's not something that you want to do you will be affected all your life if you do okay killing is wrong nobody has the right to take a life but now if you're faced by someone who decided that they had the right to do that to take your life away from you how are you gonna deal with it to stay alive to defend yourself how are you gonna deal with this huh if you are not prepared to use that type of, of, of force okay so think about it guys it's very important it's very very important and me displaying these sort of things in my videos doesn't mean that this is who I am all the time okay as a matter of fact it is not who I am most people that know me will say I'm a loving person I love people I love helping people, I love smiling, I love joking, I love life, I wouldn't even hurt a fly. I will get out of my way to help people. That's the type of person that I am, okay? And I know that, so I don't feel the need to prove you anything, seriously. And if what, what I can sense in most people's comments is ego, Ego not in a way, you know, there are different types of ego, but you know, there are different types of branches, but it all comes, it all boils down to the ego. You see somebody fighting and all of a sudden you become confrontative in your mind. You're like, right, he's not doing it the right way. I know better than him. I'm going to teach him. I'm going to tell him, or I'm just going to leave a, a shitty little comment just to piss him off. 
Even if I don't admit that it's to piss him off, I'm just going to leave a little comment to piss him off. Well, guys, I don't get as offended as you would hope that I get. I don't. I just would uh, like it if people understood the type of work that I do here and what's my goal. And my goal is not to uh, be a bad person. My goal is not to uh, give the wrong influence to people. My goal is to give people that are the most vulnerable, okay, people that think that they can't fight. My goal is to give them the mean to fight back and to defend themselves and to protect their life and the life of their loved ones. This is my main goal, okay? So, most people commenting on my videos do not know me. They only make assumptions based on one or even maybe ten little videos. But, guys, this is only the very tip of the icebergs in, in terms of what I do for training, okay? And also I get the comments of, uh, dummies don't hit back. <laughs> Guys, do you feel like Bruce Lee when you say something like that? Because I think that only Bruce Lee's got the right to say that, since he's the guy who came with that quote, you know, balls don't hit back. But Bruce Lee can actually hit back and fight. But most of the people giving me this comment don't even know how to throw a punch. But they just feel like they want to say something, they want to put something, they want to comment something on my post, and that makes them feel hard, significant. <sighs> what can I do? That's why I ignore them. I'll give them that satisfaction if you want to comment this type of comments it doesn't help you it doesn't help me it doesn't make anyone advance in any way it just makes you feel good for the moment because it makes you feel significant okay and then there is the type of uh, groups where where people might or might not have a real life experience okay but I'm just that type of person. I'm more of a visual. There are three different types of people, okay? Some people are more visual, some people are more auditory, and some people are more kinesthetic, okay? I'm more of a visual kinesthetic person, which means that I have to see things, okay? When I see things, I can, it resonates with me, okay? When I hear things, you know, people could say all types of shit, you know, since, uh, Spoken words are only 7% in terms of communication and 38% lies within the auditory cues, you know, like pace, tone of voice, volume, intonation, and, you know, hesitation and all that stuff. And then you got 55%, which is body language, okay, facial expression, eye contact, and tenseness, and which is ultimately a, a reflection, an outward manifestation of your mental and emotional state at the moment. I'm getting too deep here, but we cannot see, I cannot see all this stuff when you write to me, okay? So, so what basically what it is, yes, is that I cannot take you seriously. I cannot take you seriously if I don't have these cues, okay? I need to see you speaking to me, and that's the reason why I'm... Uh, addressing you through a video this time so that you can see and hear me and feel my words and look at my body language and see how how genuine I am you know when you tell me believe me I've been through this type of situation it doesn't mean nothing to me because you could be chatting shit at the end of the day I have the courage to post things online you don't you just speak some of the stuff that you say makes sense and I can obviously see that some of the other stuff that you say do not make any sense at all at least not to me I'm sorry and I'm always willing to learn something new from people but if I if I honestly can't sense that I can learn anything well, and I can only sense negativity, then, you know, I'm not going to want to listen to or read any, any, anything more. Now, if you say, Jules, the way you do stuff is not the way that I would do, you know, you try trying and be respectful, you don't call me names, and, you know, you don't be too blunt, like some people like to say, and you say, okay, Jules, uh, I don't really agree with everything that you do and uh, this is the way that I would do things and uh, and then you show me okay 
you show me what you do so that I can see you do things and I'm don't only I'm not only reading you saying something about something which is only 7% of communication it could be totally meaningless some people are good at talking okay I would like to see things and if I see things then I can make my choice okay it's like uh, a few people, you know, like they gain my respect because now I can see what they're doing and I can see that they're good at what they do. And I say, fair play, congratulations, you know, you guys worked hard and it's great. So I got less difficulty listening to people that I know because I've seen what they do. Basically, I don't take people seriously and, unless I see what they do because I've seen so many people during the years. I've been, I'm not going to start talking about myself. I'm not that type of person, okay? But I've been training with a lot of different people. I've been training since I was four years old, okay? Intensively every single day for 27, 28 years almost now, okay? So I've seen so many people. I've always been attracted only to a certain person certain types of, of instructors or, or teachers people that really resonated with me okay some people are very good at explaining stuff but they don't show a lot okay and i'm a bit disturbed by that because i want to see i want to see them do stuff before i actually feel like yeah i want to go and see that person then there are people that are really good at doing stuff but they're not good at explaining Okay, so they're very, very visual, but they're not very, you know, they, they can't explain things. And then you got the type of people, which are much more rare, that can actually explain things very well, and that can show things and do it. Talk the talk and walk the walk. Okay? So think about it, guys. I can't take anyone seriously just because you tell me that you've been in some situation. I'm not even going to tell you, I don't even feel the need to tell you that I've been in such and such situation, okay? If I tell you I had four knife uh, altercation in my life, I had four situation involving a knife in my why do I need to tell you that? I could be chatting shit really, you know? You don't need to know that about me. You can see what I'm doing, you can agree with what I'm doing or you can disagree with what I'm doing. And it's your choice, it's your right, okay? But if you want to give me some, um, if you want to give me some advice, I'm all for that, you know? And if I really, if I see something that, if, if, you, if you can propose me a better way of doing things, a better, safer, quicker, less dangerous way of doing things, I'm going to drop what I'm doing. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adopt what you do, you know? Because I'm that type of person. I have no problem at all learning from anyone, even from my student. Even if I have a student coming to me and showing me a better way of doing stuff, I'll say, fair play, mate, thank you. I'll shake his hand. That's the type of person I am, okay? I just can't deal with egos, you know? I, I, I do have one, we all have an ego, okay? Anyone that says that they don't have an ego, you know, unless you really practice the art of staying present and being in the now and focus on your inner energy field and breathing, opening your chakras and all that stuff, which I, which I really enjoy doing as well, okay? Which helped me being aware of certain things within myself. For example, you know, when I get, uh, when some people, for example, uh, call me name on uh, certain comments, on my post, I can feel it stinging me a little bit. This is my ego saying, oh, I'm hurt. But I decide not to answer that. I decide not to entertain that thought. I decide not to feed it with my energy. Because if I do, I will have to answer. And if I have to answer, it's gonna start, it, I, I better close that vicious circle straight away instead of feeding it and making it stronger. Why do I need to argue with you? I don't. I know who I am. I know what I can do. And I know what I can learn. And I know who I can learn from. Okay? So, that's what I'm saying, guys. And I don't judge people based on only one thing or two things or five things. You have to give time to people in order to know them. Okay? So... What else can I add to that? 
What else can I add to that? Be gentle. Be extremely gentle. But be ready to be extremely wild and dangerous if you have to. Because there are some type of situations where you are just not going to make it out alive if you are not ready to take it to that level of intensity. And that's where biting, gouging, maiming, maiming, like gouging, tearing, taking hostage, using weapons, using profanity, trying to look crazy, trying to deal with them psychologically at the same time as you deal with them physically. All that comes into play. All that has its place in combat. If you think that it is a Hollywood uh, fantasy land like I've heard, well, guys, once again, you are welcome to believe what you want to believe, okay? I'm not here to tell you what, <laughs> what to believe in, okay? It's not my job. But I do believe in that. I do believe in emotional content. I do believe in... Uh, working your animal aspect, finding your totem and, you know, it's like this Australian with a hacker. I don't know if you know about the hacker guys, yeah? But I think that the hacker is a great way to find that inner animal, find that inner warrior and learn to get it out on a leash, you know? Learn to control that aspect of you. I haven't always been the way that I am now. I used to be young, bullied, afraid of going out, constantly bullied, yeah? I built myself. I built who I am now, okay? And I'm quite proud of what I did so far and, and that's nothing compared to where I'm going to be in a year time or two year time or three year time. And hopefully at the end of my life I'm going to have some really cool shit to tell to my grandchildren, okay? How I dealt with situation in a peaceful way how what I did for others, what others did for me, in priority, the positive things, yeah? Because I want to have a positive impact on the world, on people. Also, you know, I can feel people's pain body. Some of you don't know what the pain body is, I suggest that you read the excellent book The Power of Now from Eka Tolle, which is a book that could change the world if only the world was, you know, open to this type of change. But it can certainly change a person, okay? When I look at people, 90% of the people I can sense their pain body because I know how to recognize it, because I know how to recognize it when it arrives within my body, my being, okay? I can recognize an emotion before it actually comes out. And I'm like, right, that's an emotion. I observe it, I don't judge it, I let it be, I don't entertain it, I don't feed it with my energy. I move on, I try and be conscious. I do my best to be present with the moment. Same thing like when you're on the ring, folks. I love competitive fighting as well, okay? You're on the ring and you have to keep your calm in order to, you know, be proactive. Action beats reaction. And the quieter you are, the more likely you are to select a good answer, okay? So, let me think. Forgot that charger downstairs, folks. All that to say, for people that say that I got anger issues, you do not know me, folks. You truly do not know me. You have zero idea of what type of person I am. I'm the type of person that's going to help you when you most need it, when nobody else is going to be helping you. I'm the type of person who's be jumping to help you. I know you've just seen a video of me showing you what I would be able to do if my family is in danger and you decided, that's it, I'm gonna judge that person, this is who he is. He's a mad case. <laughs> a mad case. Incriminating material. 
Okay. Well, first of all, like I said, I would never find myself in this type of situation, but never say never, and that's why I train the way I train. Okay. Why are people hiding behind the law like that? Respect the law. Be a lawful citizen. Absolutely. Hide behind the law like a sheep? Fuck no. If you're dead, there is no more law. And in some situation, if you don't use the correct level of force, you are dead. And if your family is with you, guess what? They're dead too. And that will be on your conscience. Oh wait, shit, you'll be dead. You'll have no conscience. And there will be no law, no trial, no judge, no police, because you'll be stabbed to fuck and your family will too. Perhaps even worse before they die. So guys, and also in the terms, in, in the way that you train. In the way that you train, guys, seriously, think about it, yeah? Do you only train for force on force and that's it? Is that all you do? So when I do stuff on a dummy that doesn't move, a piece of plastic, inanimated piece of plastic, like some people like to say, okay, a dummy that doesn't fight back. It's like saying that a boxer shouldn't practice his punches on the punching bag because the punching bag doesn't hit back. And it's static too, it doesn't really move, eh? It's got no footwork, no nothing, it's not punching, punching back, it's not attacking you, it's not, it's not waving and... So guys, what are you, what are you talking about? Seriously, yeah? Everything has its place in combat training. There are things that are meant to develop attributes. They are for attributes development. And I do a lot of that, okay? So that you can sharp your tools, your punches. You know, your knockout punch. Like some people really like to say, oh, all you need is a punch. And it's true. I do agree with that. All you need is a punch. And you have to sharp that punch. It has to be really, really sharp so that you're sure that you're going to induce a knockout every time you touch somebody with it. I do agree with that and I train that. Then, there are a lot of situations where maybe you miss, maybe now the person just clinching you, so now you, you're, you're too close and you the only thing that you have left is restricted striking, gouging, biting, secondary targets in order to create space, in order to use your primary weapons again, okay? So, attribute drills, okay? And then there are some things that you're going to see a lot because I'm going to post that as well. You know, I've only started posting things, people. Give me the time. You have absolutely no idea of what I do in terms of training, how vast my spectrum, in, my spectrum is in terms of what I do for training. Attribute drill is only one thing. And for most of you, that's, what, that's the only thing you have seen so far, okay? After that, we work pads dynamically yeah to to function of the energy that's given for you and then you work dynamically against a moving opponent that's actually giving you resistance okay and at the end you work full contact full force on force against a hundred percent non-compliant partner and you can even make it worse you can add fatigue disorientation beforehand to make yourself really tired spin yourself 10 times so you're completely disorientated and then set two armed padded assailant fully kitted assailants on you with the firm intention full intent full contact and see what you can do this is what my combative training consists of anyway I don't know what your training consists of, but my training makes sense. And I know that I can do what I can do against a 100% non-compliant partner. So nothing that you say to me, if it doesn't make sense to me, it's not going to change my mind. If really you come up with something really that's going to change my mind, because I can really see that it's got some, some roots, some grounding, and I can tell that, yeah, this is really good, it's going to change the way I view combat, then I'll say fair play, I'll shake your hand and I'll drop what I'm doing and I'll do what you do because it will be a better way, a safer way, more efficient way to deal with the problem, okay? So anyway, this is all I wanted to do, to, to say, okay? Because I've got other things to do as well. So I really, I wish you all the best, all of you. You haven't offended me with anything that you said. I do respect you, I do love you, and I wish you all the best, genuinely. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.